This is Max Payne 3. It's a sick third person shooting game that came out in 2012, which I didn't play because I was playing other games. Just letting you know you guys are f***ing camping. Max Payne 3 has a trophy called The Shadows Rushed Me and not many people have it because to earn it you have to beat the campaign in New York Minute Hardcore Mode. Let me give you a quick rundown of what that is. First off you have to beat the entire game without dying or failing a mission. Two, you have to beat the entire campaign in one sitting. You can't quit the game, go away, come back and continue that run later. And the biggest thing, you start the game with a 60 second timer counting down to zero. If at all during the run, that timer gets to zero, it's an L for you, you're getting sent back to the beginning. Well Luke, the campaign's obviously longer than a minute, what the hell? Yeah, you're right, you earn time from how you kill enemies. A normal kill earns you five seconds, a headshot nets you six seconds, a melee kill, explosion kill and a vehicle destruction kill earns you 10 seconds just before we get into the challenge i have to explain bullet time and how health works in this game so bullet time is a mechanic that allows you to slow down time which makes hitting enemies easier it also makes dodging bullets easier too how much bullet time i have is shown by the white bar in the bottom right corner right next to bullet time is a silhouette of a man as i take more damage the more red that man becomes and if it fills up i'll die but if i have any painkillers on me I'll enter into a last stand mode where bullet time is automatically activated and I'll have a final chance to kill the person who sent me into last stand. If I kill him, I'll stay alive but it will cost me one painkiller and I'll lose all the bullet time I have. If I don't kill him, I die, run over, back to the beginning. I'll use painkillers to heal from damage so that I never go into last stand mode and there's only a few painkillers that can be found in each chapter so I need to be careful. Oh yeah, one more thing, in this New York Minute Hardcore mode there is no aim assist and I just want to mention that around 1 in 14,500 players have this trophy. Do you think I can do it? This is our character, Max Payne. He's a retired cop from New York and he has an addiction to alcohol and painkillers. There's 14 chapters I need to beat. The first chapter takes place on a rooftop party in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm gonna to quickly touch on the storyline. So we're here because our friend Pesos offers Max a private security contractor job. Hey, brother. Hey. And that job is protecting the Branco family, which consists of Rodrigo, a wealthy businessman, his trophy wife, Fabiana, and his son, Marcelo, who just loves to party. We do have another son he called Victor. A He's a politician. And lastly, we have Fabiana's sister, Giovanna. The party seems to be all right, to be honest. The view looks decent if we ignore the favelas. The drinks look good. And Max obviously feels the same way. Obviously. But then a local street gang called Commando Sombra just slides into the gaff and kidnaps the family. And that's where chapter one starts. Should have warmed up first, shouldn't I? First off, we need to clear out the enemies from this floor to get to Fabiana, who's been held up at gunpoint. That was the first of many quick time events. If I fail any one of them, I'll fail the mission, which of course means I'll have to restart the run again. I didn't fail, so we chased down Rodrigo. If I'm honest, there's no pressure in beating this chapter. We're right at the start and it's stupid easy. Oof. I am basically John Wick for the day. I'm doing this first time, you know, watch me. <laughs> Little does he know. Anyways, we catch up to the van they have thrown Rodrigo in. And wrap up the first chapter. 13 more to go. Also, quick question. If this traumatic event happened to you, would you A, buy four XL bullies and turn your hate into a gulag, or B, go partying again three days later, because that's what these guys did. Of course, the kidnappers run it back, taking Fabiana and Giovanna. So we get into action. Drunk as anything. Anyone else? We push through the nightclub, trying to track the sisters down. Are you going, buddy? Sit down. Oh, you as well. Run your eye socket. Ah, oh, it's just above, actually. Ah. For your information, my ass cheeks aren't clenched just yet. Chapter 2 isn't all that hard. I'm still warm enough, so don't judge me. Ah, dive put me in a bad situation there. Anyways, we catch up to the gang on the rooftops and I kill them all so Giovanna can make her escape. I need to protect her as gang members try to get to her. Good 
Am I missing these shots? Am I missing? What? After that, we pop drop into the action ourselves because the job ain't done yet. That's why I'm so locked in. <laughs> so satisfying. And that's chapter two done. Three minutes 31 in bullet time. We need to save up more. The gang managed to get away with the other sister and of course hit us with step two of the wake up and get the bag strategy, a ransom. But a third party in this game comes into play. And Max gets shot in his wanking arm. Unlucky son. Anyways, we get hunting for the bag of cash because we ain't getting scammed. Do you have the money? Well, you might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Heads up, here comes friends. Shotguns are terrible, forgot about that. And then we come across this third party who look like some private militia. They're catching haircuts too. Exactly what it sounds like. I'm doing really well. Got almost five minutes in time banked up. This is good, this is because for the hard levels towards the end of the game, that means I can slow my ass down. I would love to step into chapter 10 with around 24 minutes in time saved. We'll see about that one though. Oh! What am I doing? Oh my god, okay, let me reset, let me reset, let me reset, let me reset. This is sloppy, Luke, what are you doing? For me, I think the handgun's the best gun in the game. I can reliably click on heads with them, which will be important when the enemies start wearing armor. But we catch up to the sniper and take him and his girlfriend out and provide covering fire for our boy, Pesos. That was in his head, what do you mean his finger? What are you talking about? No way! Oh, Luke! My sniper ran out of bullets. Fuck! And we're back at the beginning. Luke, you idiot. I actually can't believe that. That's me rushing, that is. I'm just not slowing down, just taking a deep breath. Anyways, we grab Rodrigo and speed through the chapters to bring us back to the sniper scene. Like this time, buddy. Remember, in this chapter, we're chasing the guy who ran off with our money, and Pesos finally catches up to him, but someone else beats us to him. So we make a move to take out the last sniper so we can get ourselves out. Right, let's finish this mission. context that's a mob boss's kid who was made enough to me and pesos earlier you f got something to say to me yeah f off. Oh, shit. and that's the start of our wonderful relationship with an italian mob right y'all pills you got for me pills you got for me got oh come on Did they survive the car exploding right next to him? <laughs> Chapter 4, Part 2 carries on from Max's apartment, where the mobsters have caught up to us. No! I'm still alive anyway, so I'm making my escape. And I'm hit with another potential insta-death scene. Got almost nine minutes in time. Yeah, we need to stay on this. You 
Nate Dubinson. So I think so. Oh. Oh, it's going swimmingly. Almost 10 minutes. Take it easy, Luke. Relax. In chapter 5, we're making a move to grab Fabiana, who's apparently located on the Tiete River. But to get there, we've got to cut through the Commando Sombra. You doing, kid? And she's held hostage on a boat, just in front of that boat. We need to get past that Bro, who is this guy on this boat throwing these Molotovs? Man, yo, we need him on the Seahawks. Oh my god. Okay. Shit. Grenade, grenade. Shoot it. Ah, oh, scripted yawn. We bounce her boat off a ramp to get an angle on the kidnappers, which is a bit of a risky play, if I'm honest. I must not shoot Fabiana. I think Max is trying to milk a paycheck because if he'd chopped the driver, we would have gotten Fabiana. So the story continues on to chapter 6. And we're at Rodrigo Branco's offices. And what do you know? More trouble follows me here too. These look like the same third party that joined us at the stadium. I don't think you guys understand I'm playing so ballsy. I'm just W keying everyone. I've got 16 minutes of time saved up. <laughs> I'm struggling now so that the end game's easy for me. That's what I'm doing. That's a strategy. Anyways. Ooh. A little bit stressful, that. Right, almost touching 17 minutes. We're almost halfway through the game, doing very well with how much time we have. What's going on? No, 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 no. Don't tell me it's frozen. Don't tell me it's frozen. Don't tell me it's frozen. I am getting so desperate here. I have using, I'm using Windows 10, but I have. Ah, oh, boys, it's done. Oh, my. Oh, I'm so angry. That run was sick as well. Oh, I am so mad. On the bright side, it meant that I got more practice in. And before I knew it, I was back to where I'd left off. Hopefully, the game doesn't crash again. There we go. Don't oh, freeze on me. Yes! Right, back to where we were. Okay, for some context, after killing that juggernaut guy, we circled back to Rodrigo's office and, well... Of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low-key. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that in your hand there, buddy? Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments. Something caught my eye. Figures.
That's why the building's on fire. Alright, this is the most riskiest part now. There's only a few enemies I need to take out, but I'm only two hits away from this run ending as I have no painkillers. This first guy is a quick time event. Someone in order barbecue. <laughs> My god! And that's the last three guys. Light, light, light work. Now nah, I'm joking. We're on to chapter seven and we're back in Sao Paulo. Speak English? Uh huh, falo sim, sem problema. Hang on, we never left Sao Paulo. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Little dude leads us into a trap in a strip club. So we fight our way through the favelas trying to find Fabiana and Giovanna ourselves. Wow, clinic. That Molotov is an insta kill if it touches me, just in case you didn't know. Whoa! Saw that last second then. Spooky stuff. Myself into a tough situation there. W King like it's gonna get me killed. I will say something, this mode feels a lot easier because I'm on mouse and keyboard. So free aim isn't that much of an issue because you know I'm used to not having game assist anyway, so if that makes sense. We get to Serrano's hideout and shit happens. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Oh my no cuso gringo de merda. Vou matar sim. Don't you kill her. Don't you. Okay. Don't do it. 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 Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. By now she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business. We slide back to Hoboken, New York to visit our wife and daughter. But unfortunately, shooting that mobster back in chapter four comes back to bite us. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after. I got that feeling too. Some people say that this is the hardest level in the entire video. You know, I don't believe that. Personally, I think the last two are harder. There's a few reasons why people think that. First, being this guy with the grenade launcher, but that problem's easily beaten. There's another quick time event where Passos runs ahead. Dead tactic, don't know what he's thinking, but I need to kill all the enemies quickly. Did not see you there, dude. Sorry about that. Leaving him out of the party. Should put some distance between himself and the goons. I meant to follow. I got someone. I think it's the hit. All right, what's going on? Don't tell me it's another bug. Oi, don't. Hold on, let me try something. Yo, what? <laughs> oh my god. Yo. I thought it was glitched and I thought I'd have to restart the whole run again. So what I did, I rewound back to yesterday when I last did a playthrough of this game and I kind of like ran towards the next area to see if it like glitched me back out and it did. I mean, not to be dramatic, it was straight ahead, but still. Anyways, we catch up to Passos. No, you're not. No, you are not, sir. And then the biggest reason why people hate this chapter is a sniper who has us pinned up top and that thing is a one-shot kill. Whilst worrying about him, enemies are full sending us from the church. Just 
No! That sniper's a one-shot. Look where I'm stood. I'm still exposed. Holy... Okay. Luke, think. 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 I don't know if that guy is still alive behind that gravestone on the stairs. Should I go for the sniper? If the sniper aims at me, I'm just going to have to go for him, aren't I? Oh, my... Mother of God. Ah! <laughs> If you're enjoying this video, drop it a like. Honestly, thank you so much for doing that. A lot of time goes into these videos. But anyways, we camp out in the church dealing with the mobsters. We have over 20 minutes saved. Very, very good situation. We're not worrying about that too much anymore. But we do jump to chapter 9 back in Brazil. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. And we're making our escape whilst trying to look for Marcelo and Giovanna. This time round, we're dealing with the UFE who wear body armor. That means headshots only. This is where the challenge gets serious. You get to the end of the chapter where we learn something fuck was interesting. The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops. Were they buying people? What the hell for? Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? No more Marcelo. Marcelo! And we have another quick time event. If I press the wrong button, I'll die. Right, yo, I got scared then. Because, you know, if the mouse clicks, I thought it was the left mouse click first, but it's the right mouse click first, and I clicked the left one. Whoa, that was spooky! Well, I'm still alive, so I'll move on to chapter 10. Me and Giovanna are hiding out in a bus depot. But we managed to hide for a maximum of, like, five minutes, because look who turns up. Right, I need to just take a time out. I'm going to go get some food, okay? I hope the game doesn't crash. I'm going to leave it paused. Luke, you idiot. All right, yo, boys, I have something to tell you, so... I was just doing my Nando's order, right? And I've turned to the screen and the game's just shut down. The good stuff, come on. <laughs> this is where things start to get a bit rough. <laughs> Why did you do that for, Luke? Bro, you want to get sent back to the start, don't you? That's what it is. <laughs> Do not take the f***ing piss! Oh! I shot our boy past us. And then I got hit with another loading bug in chapter 6. Sick. No way. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. I'm fucking done with this. I'm fucking done with this challenge. I am fucking done with this challenge. The pain continues. Yeah, guys, I, 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 I straight up don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is this is killing me. Okay, so I've been doing a little research, right? I've seen a few other content creators do the same challenge on YouTube. I've noticed, right, towards the end of the game, from, like, the second to last mission, they have 20 minutes banked up. I'm not even halfway through the game. Usually, on my fastest runs, I'm touching 20 minutes there. So, I think what's causing the bugs, or at least what people are saying is causing the bugs, is that if you go too fast... They could the um me. like the game struggles to like generate the cutscenes or something i don't know bad net code whoever coded this game hate you for my life hope i don't see you because you do my head in i am just gonna like not optimize for time anymore i'm just gonna breathe like look the time is going down and i don't care Right, I care a little bit, but I'm trying to focus on not taking as much damage you know what i mean like look at the bullet time i've got banked up look at the painkillers i've got chilling i'm enjoying the scenery 
Yeah, some good concrete flooring, that is, oh. Right, I'm curious to see if it crashes here because this is where it's been crashing for me heavy. Oh, this is pissing me off. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. This is what it's coming down to. Like, I need to do this challenge. If I can't figure this out, yeah. I'm done. Okay, perhaps waiting works. <laughs> Full steam ahead with the challenge, we're back on. Yo guys, we're doing this at the end of every chapter. I do not care, I need to beat this challenge. Yo guys, if this video ends up being on YouTube, please drop me a like. This is, <laughs> yo, my blood pressure is, as a doctor would say, concerning. Oh, and we finally get back to chapter nine where my first one ended. <sighs> I'm done for today, I'm done. This video is killing me. This is killing me. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, we got hit with the loading bug again. I don't know. <laughs> finally, we managed to get back to chapter 10, our previous best. Remember, this follows on from after we rescued Giovanna from the favelas and we're being hunted down. Not gonna lie, lads, my ass is clenched from here on out. Oh, I hate when does that. You carve through the bus depot and steal a bus as a means to escape. However, Giovanna couldn't be asked to check the brake pedal, so we slam into a wall. Giovanna, go. I need you to get up to the roof of this building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me now. Go. Alright, let's dust these fools. You weren't getting done by that grenade. Boom, on to chapter 11. We're partying on Marcelo's boat. I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> Max is an old head. He can't hack the party and so he goes to get a nap in. Ah. Wait, he's woken by gunfire. This, by the way, is a flashback mission. We're calling back to something suspicious Max remembers. And this is where I start to lose focus. I am three bullets away from getting sent back to the beginning here. Bro! Gangs and boogies, anything. Again, my ass cheeks are clenched because I have no tablets. I have to be flawless for the next four minutes. Cloud off, it's a kind of damage. Oh, it's that guy T posing then. <laughs> Tablets up here, guys. We good. I'd like to have more than one set of painkillers, though. I'll be honest. <laughs> On this boat, a lot of enemies can swarm you from all different angles, and it's hard to see everyone. It ain't a problem for me, though. But anyways, the reason for this flashback mission. Max sees Marcelo and Passos shifting the package onto a truck, no so we go confront him. 
Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. One of these right. two is definitely playing both sides. 100%, 100%. But we wrap up the rest of chapter 11 and get chatting to our other cop friend called The Silver. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. How'd he go, Switch? The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. You're clicking on to this. Victor Branco, the politician guy. He's on our radar, but we need to deal with something else first. That building is the Imperial Palace Hotel, and apparently people have been going in, but not coming out. I think you know where this is going. After cutting up a few enemies, we find some of the trafficked people from the favelas. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Oh damn, you know what happened to him? Me speaking like I don't already know. <laughs> Using a shotgun for people that are 50 yards away from me, man. What am I doing? Holy focus, lock in. What the fuck is going on here? How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? I do important research. Please. God, are you? If you're not catching on, this whole thing is a black market organ theft ring, and the UFA or UFE is supplying these guys with prisoners. Oh, no, no. Fair enough. The deals. The circle of karma is completing itself for him. Unlucky. Carrying on, we have another risky situation with some snipers. Not so risky for me, because I'm nice with it. But anyways, Max straps some C4 to the columns to blow the building to pieces. And from there, we clean up the last few enemies and jump to chapter 13. We infiltrate the UFA headquarters to find some incriminating evidence on Victor Branco. This is the second to last chapter, and in my opinion, this is the hardest chapter in the game because there's so many ways you can get insta-killed, which means I need to be like John Wick's mixed race half-brother. That's what I'm talking about, come on! Yeah, if you held my hand up against my chest and feel like a Nokia 3210 on vibrate, I'm not even joking. It will take a miracle to beat these last chapters on my first attempt. Though I have banked up a lot of time so I can slow my ass down and save up bullet time whilst not taking damage. But we come to the first sketchy scenario of this chapter. That kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. That tank will send me back to the beginning if it hits me three times, as I won't go into last stand, regardless of how many painkillers I have. Sketchy situation number two. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not saying much. I am, I am, I am, I am locked in. Oh, another one. Hello, mate. I one tap you like I did to your mate earlier. Okay, not quite one tap, but still. We keep it moving. Scam. Man. I was shooting, man. He's on the floor dead. Insta death sketchy situation number three. physique. Boom. 
been. Yo, sometimes things happen for a reason because look at what we find in this room. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. Whilst we're here in the headquarters, Max is trying to hunt that guy down. But first of all, we've got to deal with insta-death sketchy situation number four. Oh my god, yeah, how many times that sniper missed me and ended you those shots? After like five more after like five more minutes of cutting through enemies, we get to the final room of the chapter, and it's a tricky fight as the cover in this room ain't the best. Killing the small time guys. We have a little boss fight. How stupid can one man be? And this is of course sketchy situation number five, where that guy can pretty much insta kill me and send me back to the beginning, regardless of what painkillers I have. Come on, come on last chapter, come on. Before we even go to the last Becker. chapter, we have a final confrontation with Becca, the head of Yufei. <laughs> you disgusting piece of shit. I know everything. Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Becca and Victor scarper to the airport. That means we enter into the final chapter with one objective. Kill Becca and kill Victor. Get up, get up, get up, get up. The nerves are starting to get to me. Get up. But I managed to keep my cool. If I'm honest, this level isn't as hard as the last one. As I'm just fighting waves and waves of UFA soldiers. I just need to keep my cool and keep clicking on heads. I've never been so locked in, in my life. I keep it moving to the transit hub. Get a headshot on that guy. I get on the train, which is taking me to Becca and Victor's hangar. And then it's time for the final fight.
come on! <laughs> this was it. It was almost over. Almost, Luke. So here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized... They were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. <laughs> Mate, this game's top. This game is top tier. I'm only saying that because I managed to get a bug free run. The feelings were different three days ago. But Victor's time's up. He's trying to get away on that jet, so we carve our own path with the grenade launcher to stop that from happening. Right, it is so important I don't miss these next shots, as I'll fail the mission and get sent right back to the beginning. Your career's coming down with that plane. Let's get it over with. Yes! Come on! Holy f I'm never playing this game again. Come on, oi, what's that in the top right corner? What is that? What is that? Did you... You saw that, yeah? You saw that, yeah? Yo, drop a like on the video. I can't be asked. I'm going on a spa break. If you liked this video, please drop a like and let me know in the comments what other achievements you'd like me to go for.